Hey everybody, I'm in Canva right now and I'm working with the whiteboard feature in there and I'm using my Wacom tablet but I also saw someone use a Chromebook doing this and using a stylus on a Chromebook. So this will work in many different ways. There's a lot of functionality that I like about Canva that I didn't have in Jamboard. It gives me a lot more options. I started this one with a periodic table and I kind of want to start this off by saying we have an endless amount, endless amount of space on this. It's continuous, so you could really pick wherever you want here. Uh, if you want to doctor up your your uh, whiteboard here, you can do that. All right? You can make everything look nice, uh, so on and so forth. I'm going to move this down here. Uh, all right, you can make all your pictures look nice and everything. You could add elements, like I typed in chemistry. We can make this very nice looking if you want. There's things that they can add. Uh, in my biology class I went over different ways that humans are impacting the environment and I gave them all a assigned space. I gave them group numbers. They found their group numbers and they brought in pictures of whatever event that uh, humans are causing. The, the man interference in the environment and we had one big whiteboard that was all um, used during that class and we were able to share resources and stories and and what we could do to help support uh, or help give people the knowledge that they need to understand how humans are making an impact so that's another way that you could use it all right what i'm going to do is i'm going to minimize this because i showed you some of the different elements you could have Really, any opportunity that you have on a presentation or any other medium that you're going to use within Canva, you really have that same uh, functionality and flexibility in Whiteboard. All right, so I'm going to go to Draw. Uh, if it's your first time using it, you might have to go to Apps and type in Draw, and then it will bring this up. But when we do that, we have several different options here. Uh, one thing I like is the uh, very fine point uh, pen here versus the marker. Uh, the highlighter is key because if I'm doing examples of good science labs, like written up formal labs, uh, I might use the highlighter in the different pens to annotate it to show students what a good hypothesis looks like or what a bad hypothesis looks like or how we can change it and I can annotate that. So really if you have any copied text you can put that in here and annotate it. Uh, I like the fact that there are colors. Uh, we have endless amounts of colors where in Jamboard we didn't have that. I think we had like six or seven colors. Uh, and down here are some of your settings, transparency and weight and things like that and your uh, cursor so if you want to bring that back after the pens there and you want to move around you could do that. I'm going to select the pen real quick and this is what I was doing the other day I was doing a review so I don't really use this in class live too much uh, anymore I did during the pandemic a different program I used Jamboard of course but I do use this to answer student questions after they have uh, you know, emailed me or came up to me at the end of class and I didn't have time to go over it. So uh, for the periodic table that I just copied in there, uh, we were figuring out how many protons, electrons, and neutrons uh, a neutral atom on the periodic table had. So what I would do is I would pick one. So I'm going to pick magnesium here. And I usually redraw it so they could see it. That's the symbol. Atomic number 12. Atomic mass is 24 when you round down. The number of protons and electrons in a neutral atom are going to equal the same amount, and that's the same as this atomic number right here. So we are going to write 12 and 12 for both of those. And to get the number of neutrons, you take the atomic mass minus the atomic number, which is 24 minus 12, and you get 12. And there's their answer. So if this was uh, group 1, it's a assigned problem. They could do it and show me the work right here. And then uh, when they're done, all the groups have already gone. So what we would do is we would find the next group. So here's group two, and they had to tell me the answer to uh, four times two, which is eight. They circle their answer. They show their work. 
and that's ways that we could go over some math problems during class. So there's a lot of endless opportunity, a lot of uh, awesome functionality within Canvas Whiteboard. Strongly suggest you check it out. This is a great way to answer questions outside of class and continue the learning outside of class and uh, show your students uh, how to do things. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out Canva Whiteboard.